Hello everyone, I'm Apparition Snow, and today I'm playing Escape Simulator Wild West DLC, The Bank. Oh, here we are. The bank and postal office? Interesting. Uh, I'm in a foyer. Buffalo painting. Just checking, make sure I'm not missing something there. What is this? A package. Eugene de Rustignac, Paris, France. Hmm. All right, I'll hang on to that. Bank. Any tellers? I have a deposit. Hierarchy of authority, the treasury, the federal government, the state, the bank. Oh. A guide to identifying genuine currency. Oh, I'm probably going to have to do that. All right. Uh... Postal office, another package. James Grizzly Chilton Forado. Again, the town that I can't pronounce. Uh, telegraph usage. These are probably locked. Yes. Um, oh, what is this? Is this the telegraph? Do I have to... Hmm, I'm gonna probably have to open a specific one somewhere. Uh, President Theodore Cleveland, 1856. There's a token there. Hat, nothing there. I assume this is trash. Alrighty. And birthday card. My dear Harold, happy 34th birthday. Enjoy the pie. Love, Mom. Pie. Oh, pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie is delicious. Needs whipped cream, though. I don't think that's a hint, so I'm going to leave that. Cactus. All right. Well, or do I? Hmm. This is also locked. Well, interesting. Um, how am I gonna get into here? Uh, bank. Are there any other hints that I can see? Oh, what does that say? It's so far. Um, no idea. Okay. Postal office. Boz. Uh, ink. Oh, what was that? Okay. Telegraph usage. Uh. Hmm. Oh, there's some drawers here. <gasps> Perfect. Unlock that. Is there another drawer with the bank key? Hopefully. No, a token. That's okay. All right, well, at least we're in here. Uh, Lorley Post Office posts postage calculation. Distance times weight equals package postage price. Example, package is sent from Laura Lee to Forado. 2 times 1.3 equals 2.6 dollars. Please be advised, we don't ship food. Oh! So the pie is going absolutely nowhere. Uh, distance map local and neighboring states. Other states overseas. So we're in Laura Lee. So we have to do... Uh, why is it 1.3? Or no, that's, that's the weight. Right. Okay. Okay. A lock here. Highest price, lowest price. All right. Well, we have two packages for sure. What goes in there? A battery, maybe? Out of order. Spring. Oh, a spring. Okay. I'm going to have to find that. 
Another package. Felix Dalton Black Marsh Laura Lee. So this one is probably going to be the cheapest one because it's in Black Marsh Laura Lee. Okay. Oh, and then there's another one here. James West Pinestone Toxico. All right. Um, 1910. What is this? State of Laura Lee Post Office. Hmm. All right, letter. Uh, Harriet Buckner, Tom Brune, Ebeneer. $2.50. Good to know. Uh, this one says James Burnett, saddle, saddle skin Laura Lee. Okay. Matthew LeBlanc, Paris, France. Is that supposed to be like Matt LeBlanc from Friends? Oh, a token. Uh, okay, now this is going to be for this telegraph. Send messages in Morse code over long distances. 2011-14. Check the wire connection and begin. Dash. Dot. Received message. Confirm. Press. Reset message. Press twice. Okay. Oh, the wire's been cut. Oh, no. What are we going to do about that? Um, right. Okay, so this... 202404. What would that mean, though? You need to send the three letters and four packages that came after work hours. I have all of them in my possession. Uh, need to find the spring. Okay, so I think. I'm probably going to have to open these. Oh, I just noticed that these are all set at different numbers. Would it be this? Maybe? Or not? I don't know. Uh... Hint. Exos. Tic tac toe. 202404. Hmm. Interesting. Um. Or, wait a minute, if 202 is here and 404 is here, do I make these all zeros? Is that what I do? Ah, interesting, scale spring, okay. So now that should work. Um, and then I would be able to unlock this. So this is highest price and lowest price. And this was distance times weight. So distance. Right. Okay. So these ones are all one. These two are four. And then anything not on the map is overseas. Okay, so this one is going to a Toxico. So that's going to be one times its weight. Uh, okay. Which is exactly two. So it's going to be two dollars. Okay, I'm going to have to 
Just make notes. So give me one second. The Toxico is two. So then this next one, Laura Lee, is also going to be one. Uh, let's put that there. That's 2.8. All right. Next one, forward dough, that is two times 1.6. So three dollars and two cents. And then the next one was France. And that's gonna be four. Oh, four times 0 0.4. So a dollar sixty, interestingly enough. Okay. So that means the highest price is first, so that's three point two. Three, two, and the lowest was actually the France one. 1.6. Awesome. Oh. Suspicious crate. Can I... Can I open it? How do I... How do I open you? Suspicious. Why is it suspicious? Uh, how? I can only drag it. Interestingly. What is this? Uh, oh, horse and balloon. Oh, hold on. Those don't have anything on that. So... Let me see. Or is it a, supposed to be a cactus? Hold on. Is it a cactus or... It's a cactus. I thought that looked like a balloon animal to me for some reason. Alright, so there is... One... Possibly... Okay, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, possibly six. No, it would be the same as this one. So five horses. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, six. Uh. Oh, and there's ones that are hidden. Okay. Well, let's do, let's count horses first. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen horses. Um, then cactuses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, uh, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, I believe. Awesome. A note. Mrs. Hughes. She might come around, her locker is 202, but if she forgets the code, just remind her it's the year her son Harold was born. Oh, is that for the pie? Um, to the banker, he put his bank key in his locker, 401 again. Please discourage him as someone might ruin the locker just to get the bank key. However, he is convinced that President Cleveland is keeping his locker safe, whatever that means. Oh, first row. First row. Interesting. All right. State seal. Oh, what do I need that for? Whoops. Uh, nothing else? Nothing with this suspicious crate, huh? Hmm, I'm gonna need it for later. Let's do this one first. Uh, 
which I had. Okay, her locker is 202. And the birthday. My dear Harold, happy 34th birthday. Enjoy the pie, love, mom. What's the date? Do we have a date? I assume this is current to the time. So it's currently 1910. So 1910, subtract 34 years. 1910, subtract 34, 1876. Let's try that. Uh, 202. One. Eight, seven, six. Or do I have to do it like a proper locker, like right to left? One, eight, seven, six. Microfilm reader lens. Oh, microfilm. Interesting. Son's postcard. Mother, please give the microfilm reader lens to the bankers. They broke the last one. Also, check if I got any mail. The locker is 301. Just add up all the lockers in my row for the combination. I will write you from my journey on the train. Agnes Hughes, locker 202. Interesting. Okay. Um. So adding up all of the... Ones in the row. Interesting. Okay. Um. Eighteen fifty-six, and this was for four hundred one. Uh, eighteen fifty-six. Okay. One. Whoops. Let's start over. One, eight, five, six. Thank you. Okay, that's open. Um, right, so. His locker is 301. And add them all up. So 301. Okay, so we're just gonna add 301 plus 302 plus. 303 plus 304 is 1210. Federal seal. And that's it. Okay. I don't think... Well, I'm probably gonna have to go back in there. At some point. Oh! Are we breaking into the vault? That's probably what we'll be doing. Uh, this combo is for a bunch of triangles. Interesting. Okay. Another seal. What is this? A lighter. Oh. Okay. I'm not sure what I would use that for yet. We confiscated... Three counterfeit bills. Be careful when you do business and check every bill. All right. A guide to identifying genuine currency. I know its features, know it's real. Sellout. Oh, okay. A uh, president, presidential portrait. Check that the portrait is the correct one for the bill. For example, the $100 bill has the portrait of President Theodore Cleveland. Okay, so we know what it looks like because of the picture on the wall. Serial number. The format of the number is a letter followed by four digits and another letter. The serials must match. Treasury seal. Check for the latest version of the treasury seal. Microprint. Use a microprint reader to check the bottom left corner. The bottom left number, the correct format of the microprint is the word F-U-S. Interesting. Uh, oh, another lock. 
Oh. Interesting. Um. That's a dollar sign. 1871 and the frog. Oh. Can I? Is this a uh is this a pad? Okay. Let me just see what it adds up. Uh, this one? Oh, what does that say? Uh, now I do really need to use this. G-O-V! G-O-V. Ah! That one's kind of clever. Counterfeit Bill A. Counterfeit Bill C. All right. Um, nothing else opens. There's this. Um, oh, hierarchy of authority. A L E B. Was this letters or numbers? No, they're numbers. Oh, the L upside down is a seven. So it wouldn't be A, it would probably be S, I think. Which upside down is a two, two seven. Right? What would this be? This is an eight, but what is... Well, let's try two, seven... Hold on. There we are. Two, seven. This is an eight. No. Oh, it's a three. I think. I think it's going to be a three. That makes more sense. Uh. Okay, so then what would... It's still wrong. Or is this a one? Maybe it's a one, not a seven. Although it looks like a seven. Mm. Maybe this is a five? No. Interesting. Hmm. Not sure. Magnet. There's paper clips. Okay. Scale. Coin holder. Microprint reader. Oh, okay. So let me at least put that in there. Uh, how do I use this? It's supposed to have a other numbers in there, right? Let's look at this one. Yeah, so this one's fine. Hmm. Why would it not be a four? Either four again or 
eight. Right? Clearly not, but um... Oh, it's not the letter, it's the number in the seal. I, I see. Oh, I, <laughs> I messed that up so bad. Okay. So now I have to look at these really close. Um. Oh, first of all. That is the bank, which is the third number, so that's two. This is a two. I did that so wrong. That's the federal one, which we already established is a seven. I'm just going to double check. Yeah, that's a seven. And so then the state, which is the third one, is... Uh, one. I was doing that so wrong. Oh well. Telegraph wire. Oh, perfect. Counterfeit bill. Safe note. Oh. How to unjam the small safe doors. The small safe doors in two easy steps. Send us the combination from serial numbers via telegraph. Uh, second letter, best counterfeit, first digit, best counterfeit, last digit, worst counterfeit. Activate magnetic points one to six in order, except for the point you get from us. Okay. Uh, so I need to hook up the telegraph. How do I fix it? Or do I have to unwind it first? Hmm. How do I how do I hook it up? Like that? Oh perfect. Okay. So I do send the combination from serial numbers via telegraph. Okay. So I have to figure out okay, that's what he looks like. Um, right. Okay, so know the features. So they're supposed to all be 100s, correct? That looks pretty good. That one is very wrong. And this one... Can I take it? This one's correct. Okay, so they're both... This one I already know is going to be the worst one because it doesn't have the portrait and it doesn't have um it didn't have the microprint the correct format of the microprint is the repeated word word f-u-s um Treasury seal. Check for the latest version of the treasury seal. Does it have the treasury seal on it? I mean, it does. I can zoom in, I suppose. Um, 1794, so it does. Serial numbers. Well, the serials must match. They do not. So this is the worst one, for sure. Um, so it said the last digit from the serial number. Oh, but then it has, oh, but it's still both a seven. So that's gonna be fine. So I know the last digit is a seven. All right, so then we have to test these two. 
So the portrait's right. Serials match. The wrong treasury, though. This is counterfeit A. Um... And let's check. It has the FUS. But it's the wrong treasury. So let's check B. Does not have FUS. So how would I know which one is the best one? Probably that it only has one thing wrong with it. Um... So this one has two things wrong with it. So A... is still the best one. Okay. I think. Second letter, first digit. B... 27. Okay, B27. Um. Okay, B. Over long distances. How do I. Received message confirm. Okay, so I think I just do that. So dash dot dot dot. B. What did I say? Two seven? Yes, okay, two seven. Two is dot dot dash dash dash. Two dash dash dot dot dot. Okay. So now, okay, so this is the message. Activate magnetic points one to six in order, except for the point you get from us. Uh. Except. What? Okay, I have to decipher this first. It is... Hold on, I'm gonna... In that. The first... Send messages in Morse code over long distances. 20, 11, 14. So all dots... 5... One, four, five, one, four. Oh, okay, so f five, one, four, except the ones you get from us. Activate magnetic points one to six in order, except for the points you get from us. So five, one, four, I don't click. So I do two, two, three, six. I think. Can I? Why? Oh, I have to. What? Interesting. Um. Interesting. Okay. Hold. <laughs> Hold. Uh, I'm gonna pin this. 
Activate points one to six in order. Just with the magnet? Oh. Okay, so I do two. Three, six. Huh! Interesting! Crowbar. Oh, I want that gold, but I don't need it. Okay, mysterious package. Where did I put you? Uh. Oh, it's a bomb. Oh. Okay. I have a bomb. <laughs> Let me unpin this. Uh, I assume I put it here. Somewhere. And then light it. Oh boy. Uh, do I back up? Run! Get out! Perfect! Oh, that one was really cool. I like that element. Um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.